Hello, today I'm going to be making a clothespin mermaid. So all you need is a little wooden clothespin, like this. I found one in an activity bag that has a circle and it works better, I think, for me. You need a pipe cleaner of your color of your choice. Anything will do, actually. You can use, like, twist ties. Like, any colors. I don't know what you're saying. Um, you need some foam, whatever color you want the mermaid tail to be. And that's all of the craft supplies. So, let's get on with how to make it. So now you're going to want to take a sheet of felt. Scraps, I think it's felt. Or foam, yeah. And you want to take the part where the little clothespin opens. And just roll it around there really quick for a quick measurement. How long you want your tail to be. And then you cut it where you need to. And then you can cut it down here if you want. And then that's basically it for this part. So cut your things off and then look on to the next step. Okay, so now that we have this measured to fit this and you cut it. If you have a little scrap... You're going to want to draw a fin and then cut them out just like this. So now that you have done that, you're going to want to get your pipe cleaner right here. And cut it so that you, it can fit the head various times. You can do buns, curly hair, straight hair, thin hair, whatever you want. As long as it looks good to you. So there's my hair pieces right here. Now you're going to want to... Go ahead and um, lay it out like this. So you have your little roll. You have your fins. So lay them where you want them. Right there is where I want that. And then just the hair will go. You're going to want to make a lot so that... So that you, when you glue them on, you just slide them down. And then the last one goes right here. So then you have your mermaid here. And then you're going to want to gl hot glue this all together. But first, I'm going to show you some add-ons that you can do. So first I'm going to be showing you how to make some tops. So you can take little heart stickers. And all you got to do is take some scissors. And at the top where you go like that. Where it like, has the heart shape. You just cut it. Take this piece because you don't need it. And you take this piece right here. And then you just stick it where on the as a top. Now I'm going to show you how to make another top that I like. So get a preferably green piece of string. You don't have to use that, but I think it looks more realistic. Then you take these two, and you string them on. Right? Then you place them wherever you want them to go on your mermaid. So I don't have my mermaid together right now. Because I kind of took it apart on accident. So, you basically just take it and you would like hot glue it there. See what I mean? Like that. And then it would make a cute little top. And then you would tie it in the back. And then that would be a good mermaid top. Okay. Now, here's the last top. You take, again, a preferably green one. And you take a, any shape. Um, heart, any color that you want. So we have, I have a medium heart and a small heart. Whatever size your clothespin would be. So when you're doing this heart, you kind of just want to cut it a little bit over more than what you did the last time. So it's a little bit bigger. And then this, you want to cut a little bit smaller. Like this. And then... What you want to do is you want to take your clothespin and 
tie it wherever you want. Okay, so now that you've tied it wherever you want, you just take one of your tops and you peel the back off and you just place it. So, there we go. That's one of the other tops. And then, if you have a bigger clothespin, you just refit it for any size. Oh, God. I dropped it. Um, so, you, you just open up the sticker really quick. Sorry. Okay, here. I got the sticker open. Now, what you want to do is, uh, if your tie isn't going so swell, do that again. Um, and then just like go it on here. Do it on here. And then you pull up. And then you have a great top. Like this. So that's one of the ways to do it. And that's it. So I've got this little thing and I wrap my felt around it. So what you can do if you want to keep it as this. You can just like roll it and then make sure that it's um, there's an opening for you to cut right here. Because then once you like hot glued it together, you can cut it there, and then you can use that as a clothespin for like chips and stuff. So that's like also an idea that you can do. So I'll see you when I hot glue this. Bye. So lay all your pieces out, and then once you know that you have everything, you can pick your own top. And I'll show you how to glue it. So place the fabric around and then lay it on the side with the opening. And then you just want to put a little drop of hot glue there and push it together. So now that you've hot glued it, you just want to slip it off of there. And then you're going to take your little fins and you're going to glue them onto the sides wherever you have chosen to. Okay, so once you have this together, you just want to slip it on your mermaid, like this, and make sure it fits. Make sure the line where you're cutting it is right here, centered with it, if you're going to cut it, so then you just cut it down the line. So I'm going to do that. So once you have cut it, you, you just take it off, and then put a little hot glue on your mermaid body, and then slide it on, and then bam, you're done. So now, once you put on the top, you're just going to want to do the hair, and then we'll go on to the next step. So, now you can decorate it how you want. You can put eyes, put little gems and stuff, whatever you want, to make your mermaid your mermaid. And then, if you decided to do this, you can, like, clip it onto a bag of potato chips, or a little chip bag that's still opened, and it's good. Bye! Hope you enjoyed. Give a, give a.
thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe.